Hey guys, Rashad here. All right, rmbsinglessons.com for my website. Now I'm fix my hair a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you how my range has changed over time. I've got a lot of before and afters on my website. Now I really recommend you watch them all because they're really powerful. I'll just show you where they are. So there's my website. You can go my singing transformation. If you click up there, you can see a list, and they're all before and afters. It's very interesting. Go watch it. It's really fun. So this is taken from one of them, or from a few of them. I'm just going to go through a few files, okay? I'm going to show you how my range is transformed over time. And we're going to show you on the piano, like, what the notes are and all that kind of stuff. And you can hear the differences of the notes. Okay, so just a little thing. Sometimes your notes, uh, your notes will grow higher. But not only do they grow higher, but the ones that you already had when you started sound better when you train. Okay, so the way I trained, I didn't use scales or any special programs. What I did is I take songs and I make songs into exercises and I made range exercises out of songs. So if you want to learn how to do it, you can buy my course or come see me and I'll show you how to do it in the lesson. All right, it's a real fun way of training and this is how I train my voice without any exercises uh, of that aren't song based. So these are all from songs. Have a listen and you can watch my practice videos as well to see that. Let's have a listen and see the difference of uh, how you can, you know, improve your range. So I'm going to show you a clip from the original singer of a song of a very high note. I think it's a C sharp. Uh, and let's have a listen and then let's see me and how I used to be and how I am now. And we can hear compared comparisons. What type of vibrato hurts? <clears throat> okay, that was pretty hard. I probably can't even sing this bit now. But let's hear the original singer, Mark, sing it. All right, so that was the note. That's a, it's a C sharp. So, high as. Now let's hear me do it. I think the old me. This is me like when I was about 20 years old. And now I'm 33. So this was when I very first started singing, before I had any training, before I even knew what singing in key was. Have you been Alright, that, that was. Uh, I was doing a G sharp. That's, of all my old recordings, that's the highest note that I've found that I ever done in any of the recordings. So I did a G sharp. Notice how it's one, two, three, four, five. Five keys lower. I didn't sing the song five keys lower. What I did is I didn't used to understand key. So instead of singing it like an octave lower and staying in key, I just sang as high as I could, even though I was changing key. So I didn't know I was making that mistake. And obviously my vibrato is very shaky there. So that's the old one. Now let's listen to, this is a recent me trying to do it now, my current voice. All right, I'm gonna attempt this. <laughs> this is the part of the after that I'm still, maybe it's still in my goals. Okay, I haven't quite got it down yet, but Let's hear the, we'll hear the difference, hear the progress. Alright, let's play them side by side now, a little bit of crack there at the end. This is like a new area for me, these notes, but the fact that I can get um, on these notes compared to before just on the G sharp it's a big difference right now um, let's compare them again original current one
Change key there. To have you, babe. Oh, I want you. All right, you got to hear some difference. Now, I want to show you that's much higher note, okay? So, I want to show you how the G sharp, how that note sort of changed as well, okay? So, let's hear it in some different contexts. So this is me singing live, or just some higher notes. This is recent too, just about two weeks ago. Oh no, no, that wasn't it. The me, me does a G sharp, okay? So, hear how that sounds compared to. The way that sounds compared to. Me. Just the way the difference in sound, so she's dancing like she's near. Nah, that's the G sharp. Never danced before. That's a B flat. So, and that's in the midst of a song. I'm really pushing and it's live there. So, uh, see the maniac? Me, that's a G sharp. Let's see the old one. Yeah, like you can hear the difference in the note. Oh, look at that freeze. <laughs> now, here's another example of uh, some high notes. This is recent as well, a few weeks ago. That's the G sharp. Now, see, like, it's kind of, there's much less effort for me to create a G sharp now. You can hear it there. There's, I'm not really pushing that hard to make it. Make, make, make me. Let's see the old one. Really struggling there to get that sound out. That was at the total top of my range, but here, much easier. You can even do it at a low volume. Easy, so easy now. Let's get higher there. B flat. You even hit a C there, okay? That's the highest note I hit while I'm singing a song straight, like singing the whole song straight. So this is like a new area for me, being able to hit a C while I'm singing a song. That was the first time I've ever done it, like when I'm performing. So I went for it and it was there. And so the way my other notes have progressed, which have been lower, like my G sharp note, my A, all that kind of stuff, that's what tends to happen. You practice alone in practice and then you start to hit them, but you can't hit them in songs yet because it's more stamina and it's harder to hit in the midst of a song. So what happens is that gradually, the more you, while you're practicing, you get stronger and stronger and you get to the point where you can start to do it in a song. And here's the example of that where I hit, I've hit a B flat before in a song, but it's the first time I hit a C in a song. And I was playing guitar, which makes it a bit harder too. All right, hope you can see there how my range has changed over the years. And um, I didn't used to train range specifically. I just used to go to karaoke and belt my head off. And I didn't really know what I was doing until, until maybe four or five years ago, I think. I started to train range, but still not consistently. Like maybe once every couple months. Going to karaoke and belting did train my range, train my volume. But, um, but there's now a different kind of range I do where I take the song, I drop the key down, six keys, and I gradually work up. And sometimes I hang around in those lower keys and just do repetitions of the phrases from the song that I'm trying to get in slow motion. So come to classes, and I, I just gave you the technique there, but um, if you don't get what I mean, watch my practices or come to a class with me and I'll show you how to do it. The technique is easy, but the practice is hard. So that you got to do the practice regularly. I've been doing it now. I still don't train range often because I find re training range 
very taxing like it's it's more difficult than training the rest of your your comfortable sort of area range so I train range maybe once a fortnight like if you average it out sometimes I'll do it twice a week but then I'll like take weeks off you know what I mean so I probably train train it once or twice a fortnight for about 10 or 20 minutes you know what I mean sometimes I'll train it like three times a week but then I'll t give it a rest for a week or two because it's very taxing because you're stretching you're pushing your muscles like to the next level limit you know to stretch higher so I try not to do it too often because I find it that it's more tiring than the rest of my training which is in my more comfortable range um, and remember like all the singers that get nodules and stuff it's, it's always singers that sing songs that stretch their range to the limit and they sing them regularly so pushing your range too often my experience my personal experience I find it it's very tiring and taxing on the voice I have a, not only the celebrities are uh, they getting nodules from pushing their range too often but also some of my my close friends that I go to karaoke with they've had knee scares with their voice like where they lose their voice I had once where I used to like it wasn't actually from singing it was from shouting I used to do shows and host shows and I used to have to G people up and like come on and shout like yeah let's get into it all right everyone clap and I used to like shout really loudly and I did it a bit too much I think we had busy season in summer and I used to shout too much and actually hurt my voice by not taking proper control of how I would shout how high I would shout like the pitch that I would shout at I try to shout at too high in my range and ended up um ended up like my voice got really tired and I lost some of my upper range for a while and that was my first scare my first big scare it happened about three years ago two three years ago I think it was the first time I had a scare with range and um, a few of my friends had similar stories from karaoke they're like oh yeah I used to be able to sing higher but now I really struggled to get high notes and I actually had nodules on their voice like they went and got checked and um, they just had to rest man like just doing too much hosting too many shows singing too loud like in the car jamming or at karaoke too loud too often too high so be careful with your voice don't train range too often a lot of um, people I know I knew from like choir and stuff like that told me they hurt their voice um, during classes like they go to classes and uh, with teachers and stuff and they hurt their voice just from doing exercises because a lot of the exercises are range based they make you push your range a lot in the scale type exercises they continue to go up in key doing that too often is very taxing uh, especially if it's out of your comfortable range all right guys a little bit of a story there on the end for you as well hope you uh, can see like it's worth it dedicate yourself train your range um, and uh, but don't don't just train your range the singing well is not just about range it's about a lot of other elements which I'll go through in another video. See ya. Bye.